campaign right from the very beginning. Okay, so step one is to choose the system. The first thing you need to do is to figure out what kind of system you want to use to collect the leads to send the message. Now, I'm going to show you in a little bit our system, and if you want to use another one, fine, but uh, I'll show you ours and how easy it really is. Step two is to set up a lead collection system. Once you've chosen a system to collect the leads and send the messages, you need to build a website that can collect the leads. You need to get a few things set up first when you do that. Of course, a domain name, web hosting, and the website itself. Now, um, our system actually has you the, give you the ability to um, uh, build simple text websites, text-ready websites as well, too. Nothing you know, complicated, but simple stuff. And um, you may already have a website, and if you do, that's great. It's a good idea to get a domain specifically for lead generation because it's a lot easier to get somebody to visit, you know, yourdomain.com versus to get somebody to go to another domain.com slash mobile slash subscribe.html, right? Something like that. That makes it much, much more difficult. So get something shorter and sweeter. Now, your squeeze page should have the following elements. A professional design, a headline that captures attention and gets people to read more, a video or bullet points explaining why should they should subscribe, clear information about what they would receive as a subscriber, a form to enter their mobile number, a call to action and encourage response, and links to your privacy policy terms and a way to opt out. Now I usually suggest if you're not really familiar with building a website is try to get some kind of professional designer. Now don't go and break the bank with it of course, but um, if they can do that, great, and it'll increase your opt-ins. Now, the better your squeeze page looks, the more people are going to trust you and opt in, which is the whole point. Now, speaking from experience, poorly designed pages single, single out something really shady and seedy. So you want to make sure that it's professionally in uh, the way it looks. It's like walking into a shop with dirty floors and cracked furniture. You expect it to be run by a shady character using stolen goods and shoddy merchandise, right? So be professional in your, in your design, and it conjures up images of walking into a clean store and being greeted by smiling, courteous staff. You expect to get good service and buy quality products there. Now, your design is the first thing people are going to see, so make sure it represents your brand properly. It should be clean, attractive, and eye-catching, but not so overly complex that it distracts from the marketing message. <clears throat> the headline is vital as well. You may want to test various headlines and try uh, to see which one works best. A good headline can double or even triple your response rate, so make sure you try it and test it out uh, with other ones to make sure you use the, the best one that comes out. Now, the video or copy to use on your web page is also extremely important. It could tell people why they should subscribe and what they'll receive if they